Next on The Oval. Is he with her, Bobby? Sorry. You're trying to play me. Me, you, all of us. What are you doing? Sweeping the office. Well, you're headed so far up the chief of staff says. You think you can do whatever you want, don't you? There's nothing going on with Dale and I. I'm straight. That is such bullshit. Did you see the first lady? Housekeeping told me that she slept in the Lincoln bedroom. Sounds like trouble in paradise to me. <laughs> Okay, so I already mentioned this in my episode review for The Oval this week, but it seems there was a goof up where a trailer was released before last night's episode, but the trailer was for next week's episode. So this video itself is really going to encompass the end credit promo from last night, along with the uh, 30 second teaser that I technically did a breakdown for last night. Um... Hunter wants Priscilla to help him take down Victoria. So, Bed of Lies, Season 5, Episode 16. When it comes to the White House, secrets are being exposed left and right. Priscilla must pick a side, and Simone formulates an evil plan to get back at Eli. Now, we know she's going to push up on Bobby because she is pissed off. You know, uh, instead of going to the White House, she's sitting on the couch ranting and Bobby's just there. And it's like, you know what? So are they in a fair? Or it's like, are they together or not? And it's like, they're, 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 he's lying to me, you, everybody. So she's going to come up with a plan to get back at him. And we know she's going to put the moves on Bobby. So from there, we have the goons who scoop up Nancy and Jason in the kitchen. At this point, I'm convinced that maybe these are Sam's guys. Because remember, Jason made Nancy call Sam to come over to Priscilla's house alone. Sam was suspicious and automatically felt like this was some sort of setup because the last time he was over there, a group of dudes whooped his ass. So he probably sent in this squad to, you know, case the place out. And then from there, you know, um, may take Jason and Nancy somewhere. I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see. And in this week's episode, Bobby was freaking out because since he was, you know, at the vice president's or the president's house picking up Simone, he's like, oh, damn, they're going to do a sweep of the oval, but I'm not going to be there. And now my camera is going to be detected. And then he sent Max over there to get the camera first. So we got Agent Kane who's doing the scanning and Max tries to distract him like, oh, what? You're doing everything the chief of staff tells you, huh? Because he's basically trying to talk him down. So he could be the one to do the sweep. But Kane comes across the camera. Max says, what's that, a camera? And then Eli starts freaking out. So Kyle, in regards to what Dale was trying to convince him that he and Alan have something going on, you got Kyle and um, Alan having a discussion in Alan's office where he's trying to convince Kyle that there's nothing going on between him and Dale. Kyle calls it BS, and then we get a moment where Donald comes in and looks like he's about to hand Alan a folder. Now, we do know that Hunter wants to see Donald and fire him. I mean, technically, he was already let go from his position by Eli. Honestly, he should have just stayed home because, well, he doesn't know Victoria's locked away. And, I mean, Donald didn't even care about going into work until Victoria kept telling him, you need to come here and fix this. So now he's about to get into it because don't forget that there is a moment where we see Isaac uh, drugging one of the kettles full of tea and we don't know where that platter is being taken to. Is it being taken to Hunter? To Donald? To Victoria? Who knows? Also, you got Victoria who's trying to make some sort of bargain with um, Antonio and Kareem to give them a pardon. So maybe they'll work out a deal too. And she does mention like my father's in charge of all of this. Mm -hmm. He must be truly on the verge of death for him to not step in at this point. Uh, then of course you have the moment where Hunter is talking to Priscilla because remember Priscilla must pick a side. So Hunter's like, look, work with me to take down Victoria. And then we got, you know, Priscilla telling Richard about how, Word amongst the staff is that the first lady slept in the Lincoln room last night. So there must be trouble in paradise. And that's pretty much the trailer. So 
Hopefully next week is a lot better than this week's episode of The Oval. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.